Hey everybody, it's Lisa. I haven't done a Uniquely Challenged for three months. I can't believe it. There's been so much going on and obviously with everything going on right now, it's been kind of a challenge for me. I know there's a lot of people that are stressed and anxious and having issues. And I thought I would give you guys an update of how I'm surviving social distancing. I ought to call this social distancing distancing 101 or something survival kit I don't know but um I actually am doing relatively well surprisingly for being a social person but they've put in place some things to keep us connected even if we can't be connected in person so like our meetings for the kingdom hall are now limited to 10 people and we can do the, uh, the call-in app, or they set up Skype, so you could actually see people even if you couldn't physically be there. So, we're being taken care of spiritually, which is great. It's just really, really weird. Like, I don't know how long this is going to go on, and I don't know what things are going to look like, but my faith is really helping me right now, so. Sorry I'm emotional. I haven't been sleeping well, which makes sense with everything but I just wanted to do one of these because I haven't like I said it's been three months since I had put one up so I was just watching um, the archives of Maurice Bernard's State of Mind if you haven't checked them out you really really should they go back to September of 2019 and you can find them at MB that's M for Maurice B for Bernard um, Bernard, uh, stateofmind.com, and then look under Sunday Sessions, and they are up to date as of, uh, March 15th, but they go back clear to September of 2019, so if you haven't watched those, please do, especially if you have mental health challenges, um, but just in general, they're really, really good. At least that's my opinion. And no, I'm not endorsing him and I'm not being paid. But I have a lot of love for people that step up and and share their story. And he's very, very open about his uh, bipolar and anxiety and everything. So, yeah. But you're going to hear a lot about that um, from me. So, his book comes out April 7th. Yay! 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 I cannot wait. Can you see how excited this girl is? Woohoo! April 7th, guys. Nothing general about it. I pre-ordered mine on Apple Books, so I will have it at midnight on April 6th. And probably by April 9th or 10th, I will have the whole thing read. So, there you go, Mo. I'm promoting it for you. I'm just working on camera angles, so seeing what works the best. But yeah, I just wanted to say hi to everybody and just uh, keep your chins up and keep checking on your friends. Just wanted you all to know that I'm available for calls, texts, video chats, FaceTime, um, Messenger. If anyone needs anything, just know that I am here. And if I can't get to you right away, don't, uh, don't think that it's not okay to leave a message because my phone does go to silent for certain hours. So it doesn't matter what time someone messages me. I will see it eventually and I will get back to each and every one of you. I love you all and I hope everyone takes care. And I'll be doing some vlogs and podcasts and different things to keep my sanity. Everybody take care and I will see everyone later. Bye for now guys. Thanks for tuning in.